everyone and welcome back to the channel my name is Gonzi and today we are going to be reacting to a compilation of food on TikTok let's begin come on energy Ooh, that looks nice oh uh, nah, nah, you ruined it with tomatoes that stinks tomatoes stink Oof, that looks beautiful. This chicken pasta is one of my favorite recipes to make. It's oh. creamy, cheesy, and spicy, just the way I like it. My that looks insane. All the spices on the screen for at least half an hour. Must oh my god. Until it's well That's insane. That chicken. Now in the same pan, add in some crushed garlic and red chili. Saute them for a minute or two. Add in one chopped onion and let it cook together. Ooh. To this, add in tomato paste and chili paste. Give okay. it a good mix and add in one diced tomato. And Why always with the tomatoes, man? One cup cream and one cup pasta water with chicken stock cube. Once it starts simmering, add in rest of your spices. To this, add in dried parsley, chili flakes and grated parmesan. Jesus, so I many also stuff. Add in a blend of mozzarella and cheddar to make it more cheesy. Then some salt to taste and finally you can add in your cooked pasta, combine it well with the sauce. Yeah, it looks banging. Really good. Now you can plate it. It smells amazing and you won't be disappointed with this recipe. It's so flavorful. Top it off with the cooked chicken and enjoy. Frozen garlic bread? How about 15 minute garlic bread? I Medium don't really like garlic bread. Soften. A quarter cup, fresh chopped parsley. Four cloves okay. of garlic, brush them all. Beans in half cup of parmesan. John. Mix together till it looks like this. Shabbat. Cut in half. So like much water. energy, bro. He's on crack for sure. All over. Don't they just look beautiful? Baking sheet, garlic bread on into the oven. 400 for about 10 minutes. Take it out. Oh my lord. Oh, le petit croissant. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh, what? Oh, What's with the sussness, bro? Salt, black pepper. She's just right. And juicy. <laughs> because of this recipe, the grocery stores in Finland ran out of feta cheese. Here's how to make it. Shout out Finland, man. Olive oil, Great salt, country. And pepper to a baking dish. Then add a block of feta cheese right in the middle. Bake I don't like cheese for either. 35 minutes. When it comes out, add some fresh garlic, fresh basil. Nah, 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 nah. Pasta, no, why though? And give everything why would you eat again. that? That doesn't look good. Test. So good. Nah, it Is isn't. Is it possible though. to make Krispy Kreme donuts in the air fryer? Let's oh. dust our cutting board with a little flour and then roll out our dough. Krispy Kreme now, donuts. I actually use mason jar lids to cut out my donut shapes and the tips of I my love donuts, you know. donut holes. Spray with a little bit of avocado oil and air fry at 350 degrees for eight minutes. Frosting with look a third cup of powdered sugar quarter cup of heavy cream and a quarter cup of condensed milk these were Ooh, light and those fluffy look and so amazing delicious. follow me for more recipes I told you I have this food at home. Let's make some hot wings. I love me some wings. How about you? I don't like make wings, sure your man. Wings are dry and rub them with some salt and cayenne pepper. Heat up some oil in a deep pan. You'll know it's hot enough with some bubbles form around a wooden spoon. While that's frying, we're going to make the sauce. Microwave hot sauce and butter for one minute, or you can heat it on the stove. Y'all hear that, Chris? Mm -hmm. They look good, I tried to toast the they have wings. The I don't like wings. Hooters, but it was a fail. Yep, your girl worked at Hooters back in the day. Serve with some blue cheese and enjoy. Follow and share for more recipes. I said, do we have any spicy Latinas in the house? Huh? No. Dude, you promised. Today we're making birria. Yes, a birria tacos. I've seen so many people. You already pissed me off with the intro of your video, man. First and foremost, brown your meat. And for the marinade, we're going to blend together some crushed tomatoes, vinegar, garlic, cumin, smoked paprika, oregano, chipotle peppers in adobo, and some guajillo peppers that I soaked off camera. I actually have a whole entire bag of these that I don't need. So yeah, comment down below if you would like a pepper. Look Thank at this guy, man. Just cook. Overnight. And when I came back, sauteed some onions, threw the entire bowl in the pot, and topped everything off with chicken stock bay leaves cinnamon and whole cloves i think i let it simmer on low heat for five hours bro this part good thing there's no audio because all you would hear is my hand is burning ah but yeah that's pretty much it assemble your tacos whenever people make reviews of this i'm always like yeah yeah mm -hmm. you're exaggerating buddy yeah they were exaggerating bro these are some of the best tacos that i've ever had i don't before. believe you actually those look good I really hope but you're not, not that sick good. of the tortilla churn yet because i have one that's gonna blow your mind it's basically a fusion between a crunch wrap supreme and the tortilla wrap. That's the so first one. Add your nacho cheese. Add sour cream to the opposite side. 
In the third corner, add your lettuce, tomatoes, and Doritos. And in the last one, add your ground beef That one's banging, yeah. Just wrap it up, toast it, and enjoy. I'm sick and tired of it. Everyone's saying, oh my god. Again, this guy, man. We're going to make one with actual coffee. Pot, one cup of sugar, quarter cup of water. Mix together on the stove. Heat medium hot. Okay. Once melted, let that boil. Once it turns a nice amber color, whisk in. Half cup of butter, half cup of heavy whipping cream. One teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Oh, brother. Pour into a heat proof container. Let that cool completely. So it looks like this. Blender, two cups of ice, half cup of cold brew, three quarter cup of milk, three to four tablespoons of caramel. Milk is well, man. Caramel, you little frappuccino. Nice little world. Oh. Of course. Some of that. I think we might have did yeah. something right here. Straw. Actually disgusting. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Thank you would say that though. Let's do some cooking. Okay. What's going on? What is this editing? Brother. My eyes are bugging out, bro. Why is it so fast paced? Was that two eggs? Three? What's going on? Okay. He's not even saying what's putting in the meals, bro. Am I meant to guess? Uh, bro, that looks banging, but. Uh, I wanted to try it, and you just completely said, nah man, I only need to try it. Today we're making onigiri, Japanese rice balls. Ooh. Start cooking Japanese white rice. I found that jasmine rice wasn't sticky enough. Let's make the filling, add canned tuna, keep it mayo and sriracha. Okay. Not mayo, choice, bro. What's going on? Add some water, add some salt, flatten your rice and add the filling. Roll in ball and make a triangle shape. It's helpful when you mold using the sea part of your hand. Just cut seaweed in small pieces and add to the rice. Ooh. This helps prevent rice sticking to your hands when you eat. If you want, you can also pan fry the onigiri in some oil and add some teriyaki sauce. Uh, Enjoy a crispy onigiri. Make Nutella good. hot chocolate. Oh, baby. Combine Nutella, a pinch of unsweetened cocoa powder, a pinch of sugar, a little salt, vanilla extract, and a splash of heavy cream. Stir this up over medium heat until well combined. Pour your hot chocolate into a blender, then blend at the highest speed. Coat the lid of your mug in Nutella. Pour in your hot chocolate. Add a homemade marshmallow and give it a quick torch. Then finish with some crushed candy cane. Hot chocolate just that doesn't get good. better than this. Mm. Okay, we've got another Code Ramsey. We're attempting his perfect scrambled eggs. Gordon, I hope you're watching now. Let's go. Gordon Start Ramsay, with that heavy yeah. pot. Ouch. Three eggs. A little knob of butter broken up a little bit. I checked and our knobs are exactly the same size. That was a bit sus, lads. That was a and bit immediately sus. immediately begin beating those eggs. A constant beating, kind of like Gordon's time with Marco Pierre White. So about 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, constantly beating. And we'll do that three or four times. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Dude, I did not mean to do that. And back on. Clear those sides down so they don't what stick. What is going on? Uh, looking like this. About a half tablespoon creme fraiche. Stop that cooking process. Season it up a little. And some fresh cut chive. Some beautiful toasted sourdough. Touch of quality olive oil. And your perfect scrambled egg. I hope you like it. It tastes delicious, but we're going to leave it to Gordon. Wait, sorry. Say what, Gordon? Could you say it one more time? Woo! You know I love you. What just happened? Tomatoes again, lot. Caramel fly. Again, this guy, man. It, but let's make it. Okay, first and foremost, we're gonna caramelize some sugar. And you wanna do this on low heat, not like me, because I accidentally. This. Ah! Bro, when I was making this, it reminds me so much of wax. Y'all grew up hitting the dab while I was hitting the dab. Maybe that's why I'm traumatized. <laughs> Anyways, to make the flan, three eggs, evaporated milk, and condensed milk, and a little bit of vanilla extract. You wanna mix that until smooth, and we're gonna transfer it into the same tray as the caramelized sugar and we're gonna bake this in a water bath which allows it to cook more evenly i baked it in the oven at 350 for one we've got hour the deckers it came out perfect. it's just a shame it was so really late that night so i ate it the next day and i mean Jesus. come on anyways who watched that the looks great lad but episode? come All on i'm gonna say is mikasa i need that bro someone to swoop down in odm gear and take me off my feet right into that? the sunset type of situation <laughs> today we're making kane's chicken tenders but 10 times better if you want the recipes for the texas toast and the cane sauce they're already okay. up on my page 
But for the chicken, you want to marinate it in buttermilk, one egg, and one tablespoon of garlic powder. Okay. For at least one to two hours, overnight is preferred. Now in a separate bowl, you want to add a cup and a half of flour, a tablespoon of cornstarch, and a teaspoon of baking soda, a tablespoon of onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, salt, and paprika, and one cup of Italian breadcrumbs. We're going to take our chicken from our marinade and dip it into our flour. Dip it into our buttermilk mixture and then into our flour again. Okay. Let them rest on it's a wrap potential. for 10 minutes. Fry on medium heat for about six to 10 minutes Ooh. or until fully cooked. Ooh, those look and good. you're ready to enjoy. I obviously served it with my cane sauce, the homemade Texas toast, and some fries. And the written recipes will be on my throughout the week. That one's banging. Picture still. this, okay? You're 11 years old. You can't this the mall guy, man. <laughs> Mommy, what's that smell? It smells so good. What's it called? Ah, my son. That's the smell of cinnamon rolls. They're one of the most delicious desserts to ever exist. Really? Can we try one? No, we have fish and rice at home. Huh? What does that have to do with cinnamon rolls? <sighs> Bro, that was the story of my life. Anyways, today we're making cinnamon rolls. Make your dough and let it rest in a big bowl so that it could double in size. Ah, okay. Take it out and roll it into a big triangle rectangle. And yeah, the only thing you need now is unsalted butter and a combination of cinnamon and brown sugar. Roll your dough up so that it can be nice Didn't and ask. chunky. And we're going to cut it into pieces with floss. Using floss allows you to get cleaner cuts without smushing the rolls. Okay, okay. Thinking outside the box. Now, I believe I baked it for 22 minutes. And to be honest, they came out extremely ugly. Like, there's no hiding that. But that's okay because we're going to cover it with icing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. By the way, guys, I was thinking, like, is this a pastry? Or does Let's make homemade buffalo wings. Buttermilk, pickle juice. Let well, these sit for half an hour. Off, for our please. buffalo sauce, we'll add two thirds cup hot sauce, That's a stick sick. of cold Jesus. butter, one and a half tablespoons white vinegar, a quarter teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, a little cayenne pepper, a little garlic powder, and just a pinch of salt. Whisk over medium heat until well combined. I'm telling you right now, homemade buffalo is ten times better than anything you've ever had at a restaurant or a store. For our chicken dredge, we'll go two cups potato starch. Stop frying with flour; it's not crispy. A little garlic powder, chili powder, black truffle salt, onion powder, and pepper. First, we'll fry our chicken about eight minutes at 325, and now we'll fry at 375 till golden brown. Now that is crispy. Buffalo sauce. Doesn't that look heavenly? Kinda. If you're ever gonna make a recipe off my page, this is the one. So this is the okay. biggest mistake that I notice when I see videos of people spring struggling rolls. to make spring rolls. They take the rice paper and dip it into water over and over until it becomes pliant, but then it's all floppy and it's hard to put in the filling. So all you really need to do is get the whole sheet wet once. Then you add in your fillings and by the time you're done, the rice paper is pliant enough for you to roll. Oh. If it's still not as soft as you would like it, just wait a couple of minutes and it's good to go. That one the best nice. way to roast your potatoes. Use small potatoes and boil until fork tender. Drain off the water and put them in a big bowl. We're gonna start with a generous amount of olive oil. You're gonna do salt, pepper. We're gonna go onion powder, garlic powder, okay. crushed red pepper, fresh basil, fresh thyme. Get that all mixed Dude together said and dump it out you know. on a lined baking sheet. Spread them out, give them a little room on every side. And then use a glass to smash them about a half inch thick. And then throw them in a 425 degree oven for about 30 minutes but you're gonna to wanna to flip them halfway through. And you're gonna end up with a soft interior, crispy exterior, the best roasted potatoes you've ever had. Let's do some cooking. Oh, this guy. Brother, your, your meals look great, but your editing style is pissing me off. You have anxiety, bro. Why are you not telling me how to make this? Why are you even using that? My eyes brought the... It's too fast paced. My eyes are bugging out. Oh, those steaks they look nice though. Like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Mozi and see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. I got millions on my mind. So I guess I am.